more dentist dramas. So I had a dentist appointment today and this morning I woke up still feeling a bit ill, had some ulcers, didn't really feel like going to the dentist. So I gave them a call, tried to cancel, told them the situation, they weren't having it. They said they were gonna give me a late cancellation fee of 30 pound and I didn't wanna pay that. Long story short, I had a bit of an argument with them and then decided that I was just gonna go in because I didn't wanna lose the money. Went to my appointment, very awkward in the reception room receptionist was obviously there and I was just sitting there. It's very quiet. I went through to speak to the dentist. They said, how are you feeling? And I said, I'm feeling a bit rough today. I've got some ulcers in my mouth. And she said, well, you can cancel the appointment if you want without a fee. I was like, well, I'm here now. So I may as well just get the clean done. She said, let me have a look at the ulcers. So she had a look, she said, how long you had them? And I said, about a week and a bit. She said, well, if you have ulcers for longer than a week, it could be a sign of disease, which, is ridiculous i mean I, I don't know i don't know about this stuff but it's ridiculous because my ulcers are actually getting better so i know that it's not anything like that for them to just jump to conclusions and put that in my head is really i think it's unprofessional i mean they're not doctors so should they be saying stuff like this i can understand they do mouth hygiene oral hygiene and stuff so i guess there's a bit of a crossover but i don't know that annoyed me a little bit but anyway, she checked them out. She said, if I don't want to have this appointment, I can cancel without paying for it, basically. So that was quite annoying because they made me go all the way there to cancel the appointment. So anyway, I got my teeth cleaned. They cleaned them and she said, my teeth are in really bad condition. She said, the overcrowding obviously is makes it difficult to keep my teeth clean. Both of my wisdom teeth had erupted. I don't know really what that means. Um, but she said that she can understand it's difficult to clean with my brush because even she struggled with the dental equipment. I thought my gum disease was finished, right? It's been receding even more. She now wants to have an appointment every three months to get my hygiene done. And I'm a little bit at an odd's end because it's like, well, is there actually something wrong in my mouth? Or are they just trying to get more appointments so that they can earn more money? Because it is a private dentist practice. And I do have problems trusting private companies because they want money, right? They don't, they don't actually care about people's high dental hygiene. I mean, they have to provide a service, otherwise people won't pay. But the thing that they want is money. You know, they don't do it for free, do they? So every three months, I've got to have an appointment. Apparently, my gums are bleeding a lot. And she put this, after polishing, she put this uh, strong fluoride gel on my teeth and said that I can't eat for 30 minutes to an hour or drink anything. And I said, well, can I spit out the grit? And she was like, uh, you shouldn't. So I've got to keep it in and it's a bit, ugh. I feel like my teeth are all clammy and there's a chemical taste in my tongue, which is not very nice. But anyway, I thought I'd keep you guys updated with my dentist journey. My dental journey, shall I say, I'm not becoming a dentist. Thank you so much for watching. I'll provide an update over the next six months. See you soon.